this is what the weather's like today guys sun cloud sun cloud so bear with me with with the lighting it could be pretty awful but it's now or never i'm afraid oh look at that look at the break in that cloud hello and welcome to tales from cuckoo land I always feel like a complete prat when i say that but it seems to be that that's what you're supposed to be doing when you're introducing yourself. And I really ought to know what I'm doing by now because I've been around for quite some time, she says, whilst wobbling the tripod. I'm going to make a few apologies right from the start. I'm going to apologise because my dogs will bark. They always bark. I'll apologise for the lighting, but the sun is coming in and out of the clouds. It's the middle of March. The weather is so changeable here in Great Britain. UK, England, I'm in the very south, not the very south, I'm in the south of England, I'm in the southwest of England, not far from Bristol. Um, I live here with my three boys who are all teenagers now. My husband, who is not a teenager but sometimes behaves like one. My two rescue dogs, I've already said. My two ham, no, one hamster. I'm afraid for those of you who loved little Timmy as much as I loved little Timmy, nobody could have loved little Timmy like I loved little Timmy. Um, bless his heart, he has passed away. He was a very old man, but unfortunately he didn't die curled up asleep in his bed, which is what I'd always hoped for him. He was doing his circus acrobatics in his cage and somehow did something to his leg, broke it and dangled until I found him in the morning. He could have been dangling for eight hours, he could have been dangling for eight minutes, I don't know, but it was awful. So we'll leave it there. Because for anybody new around here, it's quite a jolly place to hang out, usually, here on my channel. Um, we usually have quite a good laugh ridiculous things will happen I say stupid things I don't mean to I don't edit very much so you get what you get especially with vlogs um I don't go into anything that's going on in the news not that I'm ignorant but it's just this is a safe place but of course I am going to talk about things that have happened in my life like my hamster passing away and ah, my chickens all died next door's dog got in and attacked them all so I, you know I'm not shy of difficult subjects but I just won't go on about it I'm good at these introductions aren't I? I haven't even told you my name my name is Gaynor and you can find me on Instagram as tells from cuckoo land as well with full stops between each word but I don't really use Instagram very much. I did intend to start using it more because I have, along with my friend, a make-along running, which I'll come into, I'll come back to in a minute, but um, it's the Herkle Durkle make-along where you knit with some yarn, a colourway that um, I came up with, and um, and you can just join in you, you don't you know you just cast on one stitch just put a picture on instagram and you're in but i'll come back to that in a minute i am so super hot because i've just marched around the fields with bunny my spanish rescue dog and i'm wearing this jumper that is my um latest cast on and cast off i don't think i've shown you at all i get confused as to what i have shown you here on youtube and what i have shown on Patreon. I have a very small Patreon channel where I limit the numbers of members, um, mostly because it makes life more simple for um, not as much accounting, but I have a disabled or considered disabled, intellectually disabled, 18-year-old um, son and I am his carer and if I earn too much they take away my carer status um, and at the moment I don't want to relinquish that role of, of carer because it it's such a massive shortcut for when you're filling out massive forms 
um, it was you're filling out a form for his provision for his care and it will say question five are you in receipt of carers allowance if you tick no, you have to go on to question six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But if you tick yes, it says skip to question 45. <laughs> and I really value that at the moment. So that's why I'm deliberately keeping my patron small. And also there's only one tier and it's three dollars plus whatever your country chooses to bill you in tax. But that's got nothing to do with me. Um, I can't I can't tell you what it's going to cost you if you're in different countries but I've set it at three dollars which is about two pound fifty in UK money okay this is another thing you'll find I go off on tangents but I tend to come full circle so I was telling you that I um can't remember if I don't think I've shown you this at all on YouTube uh, this is the Felix jumper I have done the Felix cardigan before which I have shown here and um, you might be seeing it again because I'm thinking of doing some modifications to it. But let's talk about this Felix jumper, which is by Savory Knitting. It knitted itself, which is why you haven't seen it here because I didn't get back soon enough to tell you. It's ever so bright out there. It's making me go all squinty eyeballed. Um, where is it? So the Felix jumper took me 12 days and in that time I was knitting also a Herkle Durkle headband and Herkle Durkle wrist warmers which I will show you in a minute. Um, I started it on the 9th of February and finished it on the 21st of February. When I cast it on, I cast it on when I was with some friends. I was I was with um, Sarah, Sarah One Daisy from Instagram, who lives not too far from me. And she lives in my, just outside my hometown where I grew up. So we've got lots of people in common, which is weird and wonderful. And Sarah Yarn Mugs, she's on YouTube and Instagram as Yarn Mugs and Becky from Back to Blighty who is also on Instagram and YouTube as Back to Blighty and um, I had to go away for half an hour and sit away from them just to do the short rows but once I'd done the short rows I was well away and I think whilst with them I got to the I'd finished all the increases and I got to the separate for the sleeves which was incredible so you can see it's got these nice oh, do you know what I don't know how people with these cameras can tell if they're focusing or not because it's the light is blinding I'm just hoping I'm not too bleached out because when I get bleached out I get a bit flawless looking so I'm going to come up close so you can see that I am not flawless from over here I look like a peeled potato yeah, it's got these lovely increases, this lovely detail here. Now, before I take it off to talk about the rest of it, I'm just going to roll back on my squeaky chair, which I keep meaning to oil. I knitted this slightly longer, both with the arms and with the body. I did, honestly. I knitted it slightly longer, but in wearing it, it's jumped up. I haven't actually blocked it, um, but it's just that's what the wool wants to do. So I imagine when I block it, it will probably come back to the proportions that I knitted it to. But I don't mind if it doesn't because I actually quite like how it fits now. Oh, I'm going to have to take my slippers off as well. Oh, and I've got nice socks on from my mate Karen from Photo 3P. Whoops, I'll just show you my socks. I think they're Willow the Wisp socks from Handmade Life. I'm not a flexible person. And I shouldn't have done that because I've got a problem with my coccyx at the moment. I have to sit I have to sit on my thighs tilted forward. I can't sit back on my coccyx because they're they're poorly, poorly coccyx. 
So what can I tell you about this? I'll start with the yarn because I was just talking about how it's changed. It's in my nice project bag. I don't use project bags for knitting. I use them for just storing my yarn and things. I prefer to knit from a basket. So this is the yarn. I'm dropping things. It's Alpaca Lin by Ralmagan. And I got it from my friend Catherine from Bed of Roses. It was my Christmas present. With no obligation ever to promote what she's sent me. Um, but she she has a shop. It's currently sleeping because she's not been very well. So it's it's in slumber mode. But she hopes to open it back up because she's still got all this incredible stock that she she needs to move on because she can't I don't think she's got so much yarn I don't think she could knit it in her lifetime and she's a quick knitter anyway this is what I've got left so she gave me six balls of this alpaca lin and I held it double to knit this did I like that in my Ugh, it's got in the tea. Did I write that in here? I don't think I did. Held double. I've started writing things down in a little knitting notebook like some of my friends do because I get in such a muddle. So I held this double and this is how much I've got left. I've got quite a bit left. I think I could make a hat with this or some gloves or something is where it's bangles they look like bagels <laughs> it's a bagel bangle nice um oh it's just lovely i can't say I, I can only say good things even the fact that it's bounced up and my sleeves are now really short it doesn't bother me i quite like the look of it um i quite like that bracelet length it's incredibly warm it's unbelievably soft it was an absolute treat to knit with i loved it i i super loved it i just wanted to motorboat it and it smells nice can't describe the smell it doesn't smell like animals or sheepy or anything it just sort of just sort of smells like clean wool it's very 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 nice now it's um you're supposed to knit it on a three to four point five needle so holding it double i knitted it on a six millimeter needle which is what the um pattern recommends and i believe i got gauge although my I fluff up my nose my gauge swatches always lie to me um it's 48 percent baby alpaca 44 percent linen and eight percent wool well what a combo because that is just lovely Oh, look at this. Oof, so nice. I've got one of them in here marking out the back because I need to put a little um, label in there so that I, so that I know which, which bit's the back. Because it, although it's got short rows, it's actually not, it's not that easy to tell which side is which without having a little doodah. But um, that's something to be done. Yeah, isn't that nice? That's also from Catherine's shop. Oh, just love it. Look at that. Got a G on it for Gaina. Gaina. I've been deleting my emails recently. Um, you know, just going through and doing search. Amazon. Delete, delete, delete. Edit delete 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 everything and the more you look at a word the weirder it gets and for some reason my um notes in my iphone transfer over every time i amend them into my email so i've been seeing my name a lot and the more i look at gainer the weirder it looks it looks like someone made it up which i guess somebody did at one point didn't they i wonder who the first person be called Gainer was. Might have been a dog. 
What else can I tell you about this jumper other than it was a bum bum? Other than it was a really, really quick, quick thing to knit. No, I've told you everything. I loved it. I loved knitting it. I love my friend for giving me it. And I hope, Catherine, that you're feeling so much better soon and you're able to reopen your shop. Because I know you love your shop. We all love your shop. Right. I've just guzzled the rest of my tea and the last swig I took was too big and now I've got a lump in my throat. Do you ever get that? My lovely mug from my pottery friend. Jo, she's, she's my friend, but she's a potter. She's on Etsy, she's called Joanna Lampley and she just makes beautiful pottery. I don't know if she's got anything for sale at the moment actually, because she moved house so the pottery was closed. How long have I been jabbering on for? 15 minutes, that's not too bad. Well it is, it's terrible because I've only talked about one thing and I've got a billion things to talk about. Next thing I'll talk about, another garment then, is this, which is the Stockholm Slipover Round Neck. I have done this in the V-neck before. Um, this round neck, I don't know what I did wrong, but it's come down much deeper than I wanted it to. I wanted it to be um, higher up, so it would go with some certain dresses of mine, but it it just came down too far. I don't and I I don't know what I did, but it looks great with a blouse. My mate Sarah gave me this blouse, yarn mugs, Sarah. When we went to Lay Family Yarn Retreat together, she um because I I've sent her things like you know when you when you've got something and you're going to pass it on and you ask your mates or you think oh I've got a friend who'd love this and you get in touch do you want this and uh, and and she's accepted so in fact pop over and see um, she's just done a sew along for one of for her for a dress that she's just made out of some fabric that I sent her so anyway um, it's really sweet she gave me this blouse not in return not you know but just it was just nice that she thought of me when she was getting rid of this blouse. So it looks really good, this slip over with it. The blouse is more of an ivory than a pure white. So it looks good with this yarn, which is Let Lopey. And it's the it's one of their grey colours, but it's not a white grey. It's a cream grey. It's quite a warm grey. It's not showing up quite right, I don't suppose, for a minute in the camera. But I can't tell because what I can see in the viewfinder is often different to what comes up in my phone when I'm editing and then that looks completely different when I transfer it into YouTube because so I'm a technical Luddite. I do as well as I can and I can't do no better than that. Yeah, I started this Stockholm slipover on the 13th of January and by the 2nd of February it was finished again knitted itself um i knitted the third size the medium what size did i knit the i think i knitted the felix in the smallest size going back to that other jumper down there yeah i knitted that one in the smallest size so i knitted this one in the third size no i didn't I've got a note here saying swap to first size as it was coming up large. Yeah, so I knitted this one in the first size. Um, 4.5 millimetre needle. I loved it. There was no problems with the pattern. Next time I would start the neck shaping so sooner because it, mine was very scooped. Yeah, I just wanted it to be more like that. So to wear with dresses. But it didn't take that much yarn. I, I don't know how much. And there's no point in me really telling you because it all depends on gauge and what have you. But I reckon it was about three or four balls off the top of my off the top of my head. What's really lovely about wearing a what I call a tank top is the fact that it's warm, but you don't overheat because your arms are free. So I couldn't keep wearing that um, 
Felix in the alpaca lin wool because it was too hot, my arms were too hot, but I could keep wearing this. My hamster coconut's awake. I took some video footage of him earlier on. And he bit me as he always does. I'll put that in at the end because not everybody's here to see my menagerie of animals, are they? Right, let's go look at my book. I've shown you my thorny briar. Oh, if I've shown you my thorny briar mitts, does that mean I've shown you this Stockholm slip over as well? I might have just repeated myself. I'm sorry. I right on to talking about Herkle Durkle, my items, my yarn, and my make along. So. I dyed up a colourway. It's Lay Family Yarn and Friends collaboration, and I've spoken about it at great length before. And I've got a whole video on Herkle Durkle. I'm afraid I still cannot copy and paste in links into my description box. YouTube say they're sorting it out, but they aren't. <laughs> at least they haven't yet. Um, and I have noticed that even if I go in and just type stuff, it, it just vanishes. So I've still got a problem. Right, here we go. YouTube partner support. These are all the emails going backwards and forwards. With them trying to fix the problem that I've got. One of the tech guy said to me, um, never ever seen this before, this is weird, there's definitely a glitch and it's very idiosyncratic to your specific channel, it's going to take me a while to get in there, into the coding and find where it is. <sighs> very, 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 very annoying. So the last one said, Hi Gaynor, I hope this message finds you in good spirits. I just wanted to drop you a quick note to let you know that I am still waiting on an update from our, from our internal team regarding your, your concern. I apologise for any inconvenience in this delay. Um, please know that I'm keeping a close eye on it and we'll get back to you as soon as I have more information. Thank you for your patience and cooperation throughout this process. Your understanding is truly appreciated. If there's anything else on your mind or if you need assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. So they are trying to do something. Oh, hang on, the lady's just come to the wrong door. Sorry about that. Like a lot of people, um, there's many ways to get into this house and she went a funny way. Anyway, Toby's sorting that out. I can't remember where I got to. So I was talking about um, doing a collaboration with Lay Family Yarn and dyeing up a colorway that um, I'd had on my mind for some time. I'd, I'd been to the Lay Family Yarn Retreat and I'd practiced it um, and then finessed it when I went along and I came up with this colourway, which, yeah, that's right, I was saying I've got this um, I've got this video that I can't link. That's right, I was telling you about, um, about the YouTube. Yeah, it's just, one day it will get sorted, I know it will, but until then, it's very annoying. You just have to listen to what I say and look at the titles on the screen because I can't do clickable links for you. Even if I do or try to do clickable links in the comments, they still disappear. So I will give, I will verbally give you all the information and I will put it on the screen and then Google will be your friend and it will be much quicker than writing a message to me asking me to send you a link, which I can't send. See what I mean? Does that, does that make sense? So I came up with a colourway. I finessed it. I was really happy with um, how it came out. I called it Herkle Durkle. And since then, Herkle Durkle has really become quite a bit of a buzzword. It's been all over Pinterest and Instagram. And it's, um, it's a brilliant word. It means, it's a Scottish word, meaning um, to lounge in bed long after it was time to get up. So... And I love that sort of idea, and especially for us knitters. So I made the colourway, and Kelly and I are running a knit-along. We're a bit crap at running knit-alongs in that, or make-alongs, sorry, 
in that we're not very sort of active on Instagram. I'm not active on Instagram at all, really at all. And Kelly's busy running a business, so she can't be doing the mail. However, you guys are brilliant. So you've been joining in with it and doing the hashtag. And there's two hashtags for it because Instagram's being weird with hashtags at present. So not everything shows up, which is why I'm relying on you guys to tag me so that I can see your picture when you enter the mail and make sure that you're not private. If you want me to see your picture, you have to not have a private account. Um, I have said, oh, look, somehow I'll, I'll, if you send me the picture or email me, everyone can enter. But actually, I don't know how I'm going to manage that because I've, I've got like four people who have entered by emailing me or sending me a picture. And then I've got a whole host of other people on Instagram. Now, how do I pick fairly from that without giving the four people who've emailed a higher probability chance of winning than the dozens of people who've entered on Instagram? I don't know. So if you wanna join in, you're just gonna to have to not be private feel bad saying that because I understand some people really do need to be private, they're teachers or whatever, but um, I, don't, I don't really know how to do it. I suppose if we don't have too many entries, I could just write everyone's names down. Maybe I'll do that. Let's give that a go. Carry on as we were. Um, but hashtags... Instagram, unless there's like loads of them, it only shows you the top load anyway. So what I've been doing is, I'll show you, go into Instagram and when somebody has tagged me, and by that I mean they have put at Tales from Cuckoo Land in their photo, I get an alert, I then get to see it. And once I have seen it, so here is a perfect example by lovely Zebra Kitten. She has, look, she's done, she's done the hashtags here and she's tagged me and Kelly. And then what I'm able to do is click save. And then in my saved, oh, that lady must be finished already. In my saved, photos for Herkle Durkle Mal, I've got entries. Now I know from everybody who has bought the yarn, more than 500 skeins have sold. It's not 500 people, but I know there's so many people who do want to join in with this make along and there's hardly any photos showing up in the hashtag. So if you haven't had a comment from me or if I haven't liked your picture, Instagram hasn't shown me. Show me your picture. Can you hear Toby's coughing? That lady must have finished and I want to know what she said. Is this blurry? Anyway, do you like my headband? My Herkle Durkle headband? Hope I wrote down what I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, and I did video some of it as well, somewhere, of how I put it together. If I haven't deleted that, because I've got problems on my phone with memory. So I cast it on like a giant sock, but without a toe. And I, I cast on 88 stitches and I knitted in the round until it was long enough to go around my head with a little bit extra. It's um, 12 and a half centimetres from here to here. So 25 centimetres plus a bit more. So add on a few more if you're going to knit it flat and then seam it. Um, then I I knitted it till it was long enough and then I joined it. Um, and you've got, to, you've got to give it enough space to make this twist. So the way you make the twist. I'm not going to be able to show you like this is if you imagine poo how can i show you this can i use my mittens to show you 
So pretend these are your headband, okay? So you fold one of them that way and one of them that way. Do. No thanks! And then do you do, go like that and then you stitch and that's your thing yeah like that i am but come here and tell me what the lady said uh yeah she's this is a shambles i don't suppose that made sense at all <sighs> there's a lot of twisted headbands online that are free that will show you how to do it you just have to google i'm sorry Google twisted headband construction and you'll get there. Anyway, this is a real nice thing and I'm glad to have chatted about it because now I can wear it and not care if I get my makeup on it because it just covers your ears. I have problems with my ears and I don't like the wind in them but it stops the top of your head from getting really hot. It still messes up my hair. And you saw a sneak peek of my mittens. These are the penny wrist warmers, penny gloves by Petite Knit and I knitted the cuffs much longer and I think I knitted the fingers longer as well just because that's how I wanted it and I had plenty of yarn in fact that is all I had left of my main skein my Herkle Durkle there is now available or there will soon be it depends it sells out um, Herkle Durkle floof which I've already showed you guys. Um, Kelly and Nick stopped having Herkle Durkle as a listing whilst they were getting prepared for East Anglian Yarn Festival, but then Nick put his back out and um, they didn't go. So as I understand it, it is coming back if you want it or need some more to finish off a project, but you might have to drop Kelly a message. Um, same for the floof. So these held together the floof and the sock yarn. Look how nice it came up. Quite an unusual construction this. Normally when you knit a pair of gloves you do the increases for the thumb gusset here. But this you did them on the side and made it really really simple and easy. Um, as a as a starter pair of as a starter project, brilliant. My dog's about to bark out there. Um, yeah, so I literally won against Yarn Chicken. Can you get over how many meters is this? One, Two, two and a half, two, two and a third. That sounds weird. Of um, yarn left over. Unbelievable. Just got to let that naughty poodle back in. Yeah, so I'm... Hair called her called right up. <sighs> Lovely. Don't know what I'm gonna use this fluff for. I'll find something, I'm sure. Bound to find something. Now, what else have I got that I want to show you? I've got a few sewing bits to show you in a minute. Have I got another knitting? Oh yeah, I've got my current knitting knitting to show you. Um I have started knitting the Garden, Garden Cardigan by Anchor Strick and I've been knitting it in this super soft holst garn. It, now, what is it called? Super soft, it's by Holst. And this is in the colorway Crocus. And it's weird, it feels like rough skinny string really peculiar stuff um, it's got a spinning oil in it I did a couple of swatches I've had to do my usual thing where I'm trying to make a yarn that is not appropriate work 
for a cardigan because I think it will look nice and it does look nice um, but it means that I've had to do a lot of guessing of right well if I'm using that size it's going to come out like this and therefore I need to make that size instead of the size that fits my measurements. So the first swatch I did came out like this and the second swatch I did was a little bit sort of looser and floppier and I liked that better. You can see how much bigger it is. It seemed to come out longer, more than wider, same amount of stitches. And it's it's lovely, it blooms and it's soft, but it's still rustic, but is it scratchy? It's scratchy, but it's not itchy. It's not tickly. So that's nice. And it's, it is knitting up very nicely. Now it's a bit tricky to show you because I've just finished one of the fronts, the front sort of top part. I'm about to do the second front here. It's got this lovely overlap situation that goes on there. I'll show you a, a picture. Um, yeah, so it'll sit like this. Oh, can I get in here? Can I get in it? Oh, I think I need my arm through there. Perhaps this isn't going to work so well. heavens above yeah forget it <laughs> it's stupid you can see the pattern it's knitting into though really really lovely and there's an option to put a pocket inside I don't think I'll bother with that I won't be wearing this to garden in because my garden's full of roses and brambles that'd be a good podcast name wouldn't it roses and brambles but look isn't that lovely and doesn't it look clever and complicated? Oh, and I promise you it's not. It's just knit twos together, knit two together and yarn over, or yarn over, pass slip stitch, slip stitch, slip, pass slip stitch over. So easy and you can really read it. Once you get going, you can really read it. So that's lovely. I'm enjoying, am I enjoying knitting it? No, I'm not enjoying knitting the yarn in the same way that I enjoyed knitting the yarn for my Felix. Oh, it's such a thorough back. Um, this was just, I oh, just wanted to feel it all the time. Whereas this isn't really lovely, but the swatch is really lovely. The swatch is really lovely. I have heard that some people take the Holst Super Soft and they take it out of the cake and they make it into a skein and then they wash it, dry it, cake it back up and then knit from it. But I didn't know about that until I'd started and I thought it might change my gauge somewhat. So I haven't, um, my glass is stuck to that, so I haven't done that. At this point my battery ran out and then when I started re-recording the file corrupted and I had I couldn't download it so this is a screen recording of what I got. Like many people I've got onto the travelling sewing case bandwagon. Have a look at the hashtag on Instagram. That seems to be a hashtag that's working. Why is my hashtag not working, eh? Um when I went to visit my friend Kelly and do the Herkel Durkle collaboration. In the evening, we decided that we were going to make one of these travelling sewing cases. So we ordered them from Amazon. We, sorry, I've yawned again. We ordered them from Amazon and they didn't arrive. Or did they arrive and we were too tired? We just carried on knitting. I don't remember. Anyway, I brought mine home. To, hi, Go Dawn. to the village. Okay. Have you had something to oh, eat? Oh, yeah. Have you had something to eat? A uh, banana. Okay. And then I got my um, stuff in. You've got uh, a pet lunch? Yeah, the pity bread thing. Yeah, all right. Um, by the way, do you know that man who got knocked on the door? Bonnie didn't even bark. What man knocked on the door? There's a postman that uh, gave me this yellow package. Where is it? It's on the one of the chairs on the, oh, okay. in the breakfast bar. Ah, that's good that she didn't hear. I What's hanging out of your trouser pocket? Um, 
Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. It sometimes stays out or it goes oh. into this, like. Okay. I want to get some more. I thought it was a pen. More hoodwick trousers. Okay. Well, maybe you can save up. I might get some on my birthday in W. Or JD Sport or whatever. Okay. Oh, what's happened to the light? Fine. Bye. Bye. Well, this looks alright. It looked really funny on my screen thing. Um, so many interruptions. This is just a shambles, as I've said. My, um, yeah, we, we were too tired for whatever reason or, or it came too late. I can't remember. So we didn't do the travelling sewing case together, but I made one when I got back for my friend and I recorded how I did it on my Patreon channel. So sewing bits on there. This is I would never use one of these, so this is for a friend who I think, I hope, will like it, use it. If not, she can bring it to charity, take the stuff out of it. So some Merchant and Mills little scissors. I've got some of these and they are sharp as. They're brilliant. Then a little sticker saying, make, make, make. Is that what that says? Yeah, make, make, make. And I can really smell the glue. Oh! It's fallen, that's no good. And then there's these dividers that you can move around. I'm going to suggest to Wendy that once she's filled it how she wants, she anchors these down a bit because they do seem to wobble about. I haven't seen other people's wobble about. I expect I've made, made it wrong somehow. And then I've put a few bits in there for her. Some... Where's that gone then? Where's the threader gone? Oh, it's gone under there. So I've got her one of these necklace thread thread cutters because she she likes to travel. A couple of threads in there, a little wooden needle box, some milliner's needles, just a few bits. So I'll probably get a few other little things to go in there as well if, if I'm going on my travels before I see her. And... Um, yeah, you've probably all seen these. There's much better ones out there. But I just used what I had. I did it on Mother's Day, which was really nice. The, everybody just let me just do as I please on Mother's Day. It was really sweet. I did make myself a cup of tea. But other than making myself a cup of tea, I didn't do anything. Everybody did everything for me. It was lovely. Oh, I did do ironing and laundry. And a bit of housework, but was fine. The very last thing I have to show you today is I've been doing the English paper piecing blanket. It's the um, Alice Caroline flower garden quilt block of the month and I bought this second hand from one of you guys. Thank you very much Susan. Oh gosh was it Susan? I'm sure it was. Names change in my mind. Went weird didn't it? The last little clip that you saw after the voiceover thing was the only bit I could retrieve from a particular file on my SD card. And the only way I managed to retrieve it was was I could play it only six minutes of the eight minute clip. I could play it, so I screen recorded it, which is why it looks weird. I'm on my phone now because I'm not trusting my camera. And I'm... I'm quite looking forward to uploading this and watching parts of it on my iPad and on the TV just to compare the quality and the sound and the picture and all of that because um, the jury's still out for me on my camera. It makes my hair go a funny colour, but this is what my hair colour is and I think I look more like me. In my phone but then that could be just that's what I'm used to um but I just don't know I just don't know the hassle of it all both both options pose their own problems um but I'm just I don't really enjoy the technical side of it but if it does produce a better quality picture and video then I am happy to try to use my camera for podcasting not for vlogging I don't think that was a very loud slurp it's because my tea's hot. So I'll just finish off 
now the this podcast this video um i can't really remember what i waffled on about right at the very end but i was showing you my english paper piecing and saying that i have i bought the um oops because the, the oh help me right the quilts the box wait a minute ow get your act together right the flowers of the month the book block of the month from alice caroline used to come all presented in a box like this it was susan it was susan fairclough thank you for um, allowing me to buy yours i think she said she'd got nine out of the 12 so i just need to make up the last the last set myself so um I have been doing the the blocks. How far along am I? Quite far. I can't remember. You get two or three blocks in each box. So this is how much I've done. If you want to see a finished one, go over and have a look at Sandra Cherry Heart. She finished hers beginning of last year or the end of... Oh. I don't know, time is slippery. I don't know when she finished hers, but anyway, hers is finished and it's absolutely lovely. So I've got this one on the go, which I think of as my spring summer one. Not that I do it just in the spring and summer, it's just if I ever get it finished and if it is big enough for my bed, I doubt it will be. We've got an emperor bed, <laughs> seven foot wide, it's ridiculous. Um, this will go on that bed in the summer. I also have what I think of as my winter one. And this is one that I have just been making up, choosing whichever fabrics I fancy as I go along. And um, I got going with this one. I was lucky because... They've all sold out, these kits have all sold out. But my friend Sandra, who I mentioned just now from Cherry Heart, she she's loaned me all of her all of the books. So I've been able to buy the fabric from Alice Caroline, just buy whatever I fancy, buy some templates, but I've been able to borrow the booklets from from Sandra, which is which is lovely because Obviously, I've only got nine of the ones that I bought from Susan, so I can, I've still got the other three, because there's 12 in each, to um, make up what I'm missing. Why am I struggling so much with this? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with my egg? I think it might be best if I just drink my tea and clear off <laughs> and say to you all, have a lovely weekend. It's Saturday morning now for us, for me. I expect this will go up later on today or tomorrow. Um, hopefully I've had an idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, goodness sake, this is awful. Right, I'm off. I'm just going to go, all right? <laughs> I hope you lot come back, but I wouldn't. If I do. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me. I know this one has not necessarily been the easiest ones to watch. Um, I think I've been extremely erratic unless I've been good with my editing. Fingers crossed. I don't usually edit much, but maybe I will have had to had to have uh, put some effort in this time. Anyway, lots of love and thanks ever so much. See you again soon. Bye bye. No. You're not my friendly boy though, are you? Uh, he just wants to bite me. Hang on a minute, let me get you a treat. Come on then. I'm a bit scared of you. <laughs> You're so cute though. Look at him, he's such a fat dumpling. Do you want this treat? Here you go. There it is. Oh. Nope, come on.
There's your treat. You're just not a friendly hammy, are you? There we go. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Oh, you are stinking cute. Look at that lovely little leg. Oh. Take care of that leg, darling. Ow, don't bite me. You're not a good advert for hamsters. We've had three. Two were brilliant. This one's a prat, but he's the prettiest. You're so pretty, aren't you? Even though you're a little prat. Yeah. Love him. But I'm not in love with him. Ow! Ow. Because he really does try and get a chunk out. 